Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and I've got another video today with Trip, who can magically sit forever until we hit record, and then he feels like he needs to jump all over us just to show you that he's a dog. Right, Trip? Today's video is all about gunfire work. This is a gunfire introduction video. Now there are a couple things that are really important in this process. Trip is a bold, confident puppy. If you do not have a bold, confident puppy, you are probably not ready for your gunfire introduction or you're going to need to reach out so that we can help you. This is an important part of developing a young bird dog or gun dog and you don't wanna screw it up, okay? Plainly stated. You don't want to screw it up. What we're going to be doing to begin with is taking something that's very important to him. If your dog is a bumper monster like this guy is, you haven't seen that in any of his previous videos, you need to go back and watch them, but he's a bumper monster. In fact, if you are have a young puppy, an English Cocker, a Retriever, you can check out the Flusher Retriever course available at standingstonesupply.com, which his videos will be added to very soon so you can follow along with him. Okay, he's a retriever monster, loves bumpers. That's why we're going to be able to utilize bumpers today for this gunfire introduction session. Now, plainly stated, again, gunfire introductions are not a single step process and you're done. This is a gradual process built out over time, but we can kind of gauge how that needs to be built out based off of a simple session like we have set up. Cat. My gunner today is over in the tall grass. She's probably approximately 50 yards away. She has a 209 primer pistol that is not very loud. I would strongly recommend not using any rifle caliber or standard pistol caliber for this type of stuff. Pistols are gonna be better, but rifles have a really sharp noise that carries differently and it causes issues in the development process. Down the road, you may not have any issues with rifle shots, but in the beginning stages, don't use it for, uh, for the introduction portion. No 22 long rifles, none of that, okay? The 209 primer makes a dull popping sound. If you don't have access to a primer pistol, buy some primer snap cap type things. You can put the primer in a hole that goes in your shotgun, or you can purchase blanks. Those are either made by Fiocchi, um, Kent made them, a lot of them are struggling to keep them in stock, or you can make what are called retriever poppers. You can buy, excuse me, retriever poppers, and those are literally just 209 primers in a shotgun hole, typically 12 gauge, and then you can use any 12 gauge shotgun that you have to make pop pop sounds that are in the duller, flatter sound category, okay? not an acoustician or an acoustical engineer, so I don't know all of the science behind those things, but I know one and I'll ask him next time I see him to explain it to me. As we continue with the session, we need to keep it short. We're gonna be doing anywhere from three, maybe five reps with him. This is a little different. You've seen some of his other retrieving sessions where he is more structured. We have a platform, things like that. This is puppy him up, act like a wild hooligan, get super pumped, throw this, I'm gonna have a signal. That's going to be me dropping my hand, okay? Your gunner is the most important part of this process. Their timing is huge. They can either make or break the session for you. So you guys need to go and watch the video that I specifically have from the gunner's perspective that shows all the do's and don'ts, okay? In that process, it's better to be, to miss, not shoot at all, than it is to shoot late. Okay, keep that in mind as the number one rule. Then go watch that other video before you continue forward from here. As I throw these, I'm gonna make sure that he is pumped and focused and actively chasing, focused on this. That is the key. We don't want him to be, to pull focus to the gunfire. Later, we'll be able to actually build an association that is positive. Guns mean birds are coming. Right now, we just want it to be background noise that's ignored. Each successful shot, Cat will move forward about 10 paces. That'll get us to where she's pretty close by the end of this session, if all goes well. If he shows any signs of paying attention to the gunfire, we will take a step back, evaluate, and I'll talk about that as we go. Again, bold, confident puppy. I expect that he'll do well with this. I hope you enjoy. 
let's get started with this training session. Gunner ready! Okay, we got my little check cord on. I'm gonna tease this guy up. There you go, there you go. Perfect. Focused 100% on my bumper. I'm gonna meet him. There you go, good boy. Keep him pumped up, okay? We're still focused here on bumpers. Come up closer a little bit more. Hey, 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 hey. Good, good, good. Ready? Good. 100% focused on our bumper again. This is great. This is great. That's a good boy. Keep coming this way. So we're making evaluations as we go. We have a very focused puppy on our bumper. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. There you go. All right. So now we're going to be doing this is the last one for this session. Our gunner is approximately only 15 yards away. That's pretty, maybe 20 at the most. Pretty close. We're gonna keep his focus on the bumper and then we'll end this one. Good. Again, 100% focused on the bumper. Perfect. That is a perfect example of a gunfire introduction. If yours doesn't go this way, if you have questions, if your puppy is not as driven as him, we can come up with some cool or creative ways to help you through this process. One of which specifically can be using live birds. That can be something that's drastically more exciting for young dogs, depending on their individual personalities. Now, all of that being said, keep these sessions short. You should be doing three, maybe five reps at the absolute most. You wanna see no letdown in driver desire for the task. And you can continue to bring your gunner closer, always making sure that they don't pay attention to the gunfire. If you ever see any hesitation at all, please stop there. Don't see, let's try it again. Stop there and reach out. Patreon.com slash Standing Stone Kennels. I've helped with tons of people through gun sensitivity or gunfire issues. Hope that you are not one of those, but we'd happy to help you. We'd be happy to help you if you are. This is the end of this session for Trip. What we will do from here, this is what I would call the introduction. What we will do from here is we will go to the field as he's actively working. We will have the same type of small amounts of gunfire mixed into his bird sessions, mixed into some other retrieving sessions, and it will be conditioned over time. That is all I've got for you today. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. This is Trip, the guy with the pink gun. My gunner today is Cat. Thank you, dear. We will see you in the next video.